Welcome back to JB Reviews. As you guys saw in the last video, I did a walk around with this 2023 Ford F-350 Lariat Ultimate. And I have Ken here. How's it going, guys? He's actually the guy that sold this truck. Now, this truck may or may not be available because I'm thinking about purchasing it. So be sure to reach out. <laughs> You're going to purchase it, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you are in the market, if you would like to order any vehicles, Ken, would you mind giving yourself a number? Yeah, my number is 801-694-5269. That's my sale. You can reach me at any time. Thank you, bro. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So I was going to compare this with that Chevy Dually you saw in the thumbnail, but unfortunately, someone's picking that truck up today, so I'm not going to drive it. Um, but this is our first time driving a Ford F-350 Dually for 2023. And one thing I can already tell you, the seats are amazing. I'm so excited. This has a high output power stroke and 410 rear. So what I'll do is in this video, I will show you guys a zero to 60 with my Chevy to show you guys a comparison, all right? But let me go ahead and set up here. Actually, you know what? I gotta reset for the MPG too, by the way. So let me go ahead and do that real quickly and we'll go ahead and get started. Today's the day, guys. This is my very first time driving the high output power show. I'm actually kind of nervous and I'm not nervous for myself. I'm actually nervous for Ford because I have really high expectations and they kind of did it to themselves because they came out with this monstrosity 500 horsepower in a pickup truck, a diesel pickup truck at that 1200 pound feet of torque class leading all the way across the board 10 speed transmission known as a 10R 140 410 rear end. Let's see how it does. Here we go. 30. 60. 60. Wow. Now, I know that there's torque management because I felt it. It took it a little bit of time to kind of get going. I feel like there was like a, not a dead spot, but like there was just like a lag. But it's, it's insane. This thing is definitely quicker, but it's not like, it's not groundbreaking. And this truck is new. I mean, the truck only has 33 miles on it. So that means that once you put probably about a thousand miles on it, you can probably really start to feel that power. But man, it's quick on its feet though. Oh my goodness. The steering feels pretty weighted too. I'm gonna put it also in eco mode. That was in normal mode when we did the drive just now. So just wanna make sure that's clear because I know some people get mad at me when I do it in eco mode. But yeah, this steering wheel, this is a big steering wheel. I'm doing about 72 miles an hour. Let me switch cameras so you guys can see what RPM we're at. So about 63 miles an hour. We are in 10th gear. Let's go ahead and jump up to about 2000 RPMs. Wow, do you guys see that? Do you see that? It's not downshifting. There's so much power with this engine. It doesn't even have the downshift. <laughs> oh man, that is insanity. That's insanity right there, guys. Wow. There it is. So you're about 20... 22, 2300 RPMs, give or take. You almost don't need the 410. This truck has so much power. I know that's gonna increase your, your towing capacity, but <laughs> that was crazy. So I was probably giving it like maybe 30% throttle. It didn't even downshift, ah, I'm good. <laughs> Man, I, that's why I think you don't really need a lower gear out back. I think the is it 373 on the dual? I can't remember what the dualies are. 
It's either 373 or 331 or 355, somewhere in there. I can't remember. But I do like that the steering column is power. Chevy, we need that. You still can't control the convex by power, which is kind of stinks. But yeah, these seats, oh yeah. I could drive this all day long. It's definitely a little bit more comfortable than Chevy, I will be honest. I have to drive a GMC with the Denali Ultimate package to see if there's a difference there with those seats, but yeah, when you're running at 80 miles an hour, This truck is so fast, it has so much power. It only kicks down to ninth gear. <laughs> it's so crazy. That is insane. I've never seen that before. Like I've always seen where it would drop down three gears. Like even the standard output power stroke drops down to like, I think eighth gear, seventh gear. But there's just so much power. So much usable power too. I gotta find one of these bad boys. I might have to buy this truck, man. This is, I'm sold. Where do I sign? Now, if you didn't watch the last video, I did review all these numbers, but here's the payload for this truck, 5,202 pounds. So in case you were wondering, this truck on the curb weighs 8,798 pounds. So this is a Lariat, it's an Ultimate. So you're gonna have pretty much every option that you can get and even back here spray and bed liner and fifth wheel prep package is going to be something that's going to take away from your payload and you have the deployable running boards too so we're pretty much at the midpoint this is like a normal road that i traveled in the past exit 297 and yeah 13.9 this is really really good that's with the acceleration too not bad Now, I don't know if you guys can see there, heads up display is a part of this package now. That's something that Ford added for 2023. They have the time in there, the temperature, the speed limit, miles an hour. And I will be completely honest with you, I would have to figure out how to change the information. I'm pretty sure you can do it within this screen here. And we'll probably, maybe we'll do it when we get back to the dealership, if I remember. I may not remember though. Let me turn the ventilated seats down a little bit. So I'm going about 60 miles an hour now. It's only going up a couple decibels, about 62 decibels. Let me get up to 75. I'm still over 14.1 MPG that they're accelerating back up to 60 basically. Yeah, when you hit the bumps in the road, yeah, this is a good truck. Michelin tires are great, very quiet. I'm hitting some big bumps in the road right here too, so let's see. 63 decibels. About 65, 66 by the window here. It's actually a little bit louder back there, 64, 65. I've seen like 62 from other trucks, so that's not too bad. But yeah, this truck, it has so much power that it doesn't even downshift down to like seventh, eighth gear. That's crazy. Now, the 410 could be in play there too because you know, you're running at a little bit higher RPM because of that. But yeah, I like this truck. I could afford the dually and the gas Chevy and this. I definitely buy the truck today. I don't think I can afford them all. I'd be I'm debt loaded now if I buy this. I'd be I'll be begging you guys to watch all my videos. Just watch them in the background. Something. <laughs> wow. I mean the interior is just beautiful too. I mean this is a Larry Ultimate. So you have the leather seats and they're ventilated as I've mentioned. Wireless charger and. Yeah, digital clusters right here. And I like the, that this one has the buckets up front too. But yeah, it's very comfortable. 
I could drive this for a long time. Now, despite Ford calling this a complete redesign, this truck is essentially the same. Like, you can pretty much tell the mirrors are the same that they've been using for quite a few years now. And even the dash kind of resembles the older truck. The seats, they're definitely a carryover. So I guess what you're gonna notice here is that this is essentially what Ram did back in 2019. They called that truck a redesign, but all they did was just change the front clip, which is what they did on this truck too. Now, 410, and we're getting 15.1 MPGs with acceleration and some stops, yeah. I think you guys should definitely get the higher gearing out back. I would not go with the 410. I don't think it's needed. You have 500 horsepower. Come on, 1,200 pound feet of torque. Yeah, I mean, the only exception is, like, you know what I've been doing. I've been looking at bigger tires for dually trucks. So maybe that's the only reason why I would get the 410 is to maybe run a 35 or 37 inch tire on this truck. That's probably the only reason why I would get that axle ratio. Ford's 10 speed transmission is really smooth. And first, second, and third gears are really deep. Now, when I have a chance in the future to actually tow with this truck, I will do so because I'm willing to bet you that there's some torque management in this truck. Oh, by the way, this truck does have, like this truck has like a lot of things that I would want. Like it has a panoramic sunroof, and it goes all the way back, all the way back. Yeah, it's like so much brighter in here. And because I live in Utah now, when we drive through the mountains, you can look out and you can see all the mountains from inside your truck. You don't have to stick your head out the window. That's what I like about this. If you like nature, you definitely need to get a sunroof. But we should be back at the dealership in about five minutes or so. A little bit of traffic coming up. I see brake lights, but we're about to get off anyway. So um, I will show you guys where we end off at. You're gonna be shocked by the feel economy of this truck. I'm just telling you right now, this has a 410. You're gonna be shocked with the high output power stroke. I am appalled. I was actually thinking of a different number. You ready for this? I'm gonna stop where we started at. Right here. Can you believe that? 16.1 MPG. Wow. That's a little bit of city driving. Zero to like 80, really. I did like zero to 80. And we got 16.1. So you could probably get on the highway. This has a 48 gallon fuel tank. It says that you can go, what's the range? I know they show the range somewhere on here. Let me show it to you here. I'm dumb. It's right there, 705. So yeah, you can just cruise on the highway unloaded for 700 miles. You'd pee your pants by the time you get to 700, but hey, you won't have to stop that much. I'm impressed guys. I'm really impressed. This truck got over 16 MPG. I mean, come on. 410, 500 horsepower, 1200 pound feet of torque. That is pretty good. And I know the zero to 60 was not that great, but this is a new truck. So there needs to be some time for it to break in. So I'm pretty sure that you're not getting all the boost right now. And once you get over a thousand miles, you probably will get full boost. And there's gonna be some torque management because obviously Ford doesn't want you to blow up your rear diff because it's a lot of power. And I don't care how beefy your rear end is, that truck is fast. And if you can get all that power, yeah, you're gonna start breaking stuff. So I'm really impressed. I think the biggest test would be hooking this thing up to my fifth wheel and seeing how fast it is. Now, I don't think I can buy this truck, even though I said I would if it became available. I definitely can't afford this truck right now. I Well, if I sold my white truck, which is right there, I could get it. But I don't want to sell the gasser right now because I really want to give, give you guys my impressions on that truck. And a dually, someone said in the comment section, you guys know what this truck's going to do. It's going to be great towing. I mean, this truck can tow 30 something thousand pounds. And I only have a 13,000 pound trailer, so it's gonna do a great job towing, but it would be nice to put it up against the Chevy and do the exact same thing to it, like put it on 37s, but I, I don't know. That's, once the channel starts doing good, then I can start doing stuff like that. So 
be sure to subscribe, support this channel. Because who knows, maybe if the time comes, maybe I can start buying multiple trucks and do testing with them. But yeah, that's for the future. Let's put a pin in it. Hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller. Ken is the guy who actually ordered this truck. His customer did back out. So again, this is the only chance you'll get with a dually Ford F-350. Big payload and it's option great too.